Hey everyone, welcome to Damai Scaling YouTube channel. I'm your host Teddy Wang and the patch has dropped. Jin got literally no changes. Uh, it has nothing, nothing palpable on this patch outside of a big nerf actually. And the big nerf this time is on Wild Standing 3. Wild Standing 3 used to be a counter hit launcher move. But now on the new mechanic is the Jin move that makes a wall stun. So I was thinking maybe this move was kind of trash, but then I take a second look at it and I think I found some interesting things to do with it. And uh, this move, it's plus 19 if it hits the wall, as you guys can see, plus 19. And Jin doesn't get beyond that. Maybe if the, if the move hits as late as possible, he is going to get something right but uh this move is plus 19 so what can jin land at plus 19 usually nothing uh you cannot go for a hell sweep here because hell sweep is going to be detected because it's pretty hard to 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 go straight for a hell sweep here this move doesn't add mix up options just to let you know it adds pressure uh and since the opponent has no place to go it is gonna have to guess between some things that Jin can do for example let's say if the opponent is guarding standing right uh, the opponent is guarding after they get hit by this you can now mix up with this this is a mix up you can cd you can go for a cd4 uh, of course it's going to be risky but it's reatable but now this makes it the Zen tree kind of like a much uh, a much less gimmicky option. Uh, if this hits, uh, you can still do this. You can go for the throws, but the throws are going to put your opponent out of the wall uh, in most time. Oh, the only throw that doesn't put the opponent out of the wall is up forward one plus two. But if they tech, they are going to be out of the wall. So you're gonna have to use different things to make your opponent duck. For example, you can go for this, uh, which you, when you condition them enough, you can go for a for a down one. That one cannot be stepped, cannot be interrupted. But gym players can parry each other on this, which is great. So this doesn't work against Jin himself, <laughs> but. Uh, doesn't work against Jin himself, but it works wonders against everyone else. Uh, you can go for this. Uh, good damage. Uh, when you are off axis, you won't get still nothing guaranteed. Uh, this is not guaranteed. You can actually guard all i'm go just going to uh, to put there so you guys can see it so no guaranteed now you can also mix up with 443 if you have the buffer uh, you can mix this with 443 for its pressure but 443 one is still going to whiff despite being in the corner uh, which takes me to the second point of this video. I think Namco really is out of ideas. They don't know what to do with Jin. They don't know what to change with the character. So they did nothing. They really did nothing. And uh, this is just proof of one of the things that they really have no idea how to approach the character at this point. I'm going to show you right here. At least one thing that could be changed to Jin is this this right here this is a move that whips as hell if you are not really close to the opponent this is going to whiff is going to be minus 12 on on block so this is a really move a, a really bad move that hasn't really changed at all uh in a million years actually and uh when i see this a move that in order for you to mix it has to hit 
it's another point that I think whoever is in front of the development at Namco currently doesn't understand Jin. Uh, so this move only works if it hits. But this is not going to do much for Jin because every single time you want a wall splat for Jin. Sorry, my stick is kind of bad. My stick is kind of bad. You want a wall splat so you can do this. The damage needs to be guaranteed. So when you land anything that wall splats with Jin, the damage will always going to be worth it other than going for this. This does nothing. Jin doesn't have strong mix-up options or forceful ways of making someone duck at the wall. This is going to work against some people, but there is really no effort on trying to go with moves such as this one because there isn't really a strong low that is going to make people duck with Jin. This is minus one. Even if it hits, it's minus one. This if it hits, it's minus one. This one can hit, but it's plus three only. So the opponent is going to duck, jab or do whatever, so it's really pointless. So might as well just go for the 442 because if the 442 hits the opponent, you are at minus eight with the advantage of a pushback. Something that doesn't happen with Boston in three. See? So this it gives you a pushback, but this one it leaves you closer. See? This one, it still gives you a pushback, so it's a much better move compared to this one. This one, not worth splatting, is a big nerf. Uh, this move, not worth splatting, it's a big nerf. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, see you guys in the next one.